Good afternoon, this is Tech Guru, where we look at all things technical. Today we're going to be looking at how to connect your laptop to your TV using an HDMI cable. Pretty straightforward process, a lot of people know how to do it, there are some people out there who still don't. So uh, I thought I'd demonstrate that, that to you today, using a laptop and the television. Um, so we'll go ahead to do that in a moment. If you like what you're seeing today, by the way, please don't forget to give us a like. And if you want to see other um, like sort of videos, um, basically which look at how to or tech related issues, please smash that subscribe button now and there'll be new videos coming up in future. So uh, let's have a look at how to actually connect the laptop to the TV now using an HDMI cable. Go ahead and demonstrate that. Okay, so make sure that your HDMI cable is plugged into the back of the television. Um, you need to just remember what port it is actually connected into. Um, so if we turn the television on now with the remote control, and obviously you can do that manually. Okay, so the television's on as you can see. So if we get a laptop and put that next to the television, as you can see there, basically we're going to be looking at replicating the screen on the television. Now, there's different options and I'll show you sort of how to do that in a moment. Okay, so if we plug the HDMI cable in first. Okay. As I said to you earlier, just make a sort of a note when you, um, when you, um, plug the HDMI cable into the back of the TV because it might be a different port. This is actually HDMI 2 we're using, so um, I'll select that now. Now, this um, basically has come up like this already because I've um, used it before on the television. So, uh, but what I'll do is actually demonstrate it now how to do that. So, bear with me a second. So, if we go into settings, now obviously you can go through your control panel or there's a shortcut down on the bottom right hand side of my computer screen. And obviously if it's not on the TV screen, you can do this on the computer as well. So if we hit all settings and go to display sound system notifications and power, uh, display settings. Now on here, um, let's just have a quick look. So what we've done is we've switched it back to the television, okay? Oh, sorry, back to the, the laptop, so I can demonstrate this. So, so as I said, if we go to the actual settings here on the computer, either that way or through the control panel, if you click on system and display, okay? Now, because it's connected to the HDMI cable, it's actually showing two, connect two screens here, one and two. So this is one and that is two, okay? Um, and if there's not something showing there, you can ask it to detect it as well by clicking detect, okay? Um, and identify, similarly, if there's an identify button, click on that, that says one, and obviously if it's on the screen over there, it's, it will say two. So, um, if we scroll down to multiple displays, now this will obviously, the wording and the way it's laid out will vary slightly by, uh, by computer, but in principle it's the same like screen one, screen two, etc. So, we can actually have multiple displays here. So at the minute it's saying show on one. We can obviously decide to um, extend these displays, uh, so duplicate the dis displays, where you actually can have it on both. So if we keep the changes there, and as you can see here now, um, basically it's mirroring what's whatever's on the screen. So let's just go to bbc.co.uk, for example. And as you can see here, both all over exactly at the same time, okay? Because we've actually sort of duplicated the displays. Now, um, I've demonstrated to you just on the laptop, um, but if you want to just have it on the TV screen, you can do that as well. So if you go back to all settings and system display, um, and then basically if we go down to duplicate displays, because this is display one and display two, we can show only on display two, which we're doing here, okay? And obviously we can keep the changes there. So let's just cancel that, sorry about that. And there we have it. So um, you can also ask it to identify, and likewise on here it said one, there's two, so that's also a good way 
sort of to, to know. And again, if we go to bbc.co.uk, you can see basically the computer is just working on the TV now. So you can either have both or you can have one or the other. So that's pretty straightforward. Okay. If we go back into the settings, we can also look at, um, we can change the brightness as well. Okay. Of the display. Now this is mainly actually on the computer. So uh, that's something option there. You can obviously choose to have nightlight as well. Um, that sort of is to do with the actual settings of the color because obviously I believe that blue light um, according to reports is not that good for you at night time okay and you can schedule when this comes on etc um, so that's that uh, obviously the scale and layout you can't really change whilst it's on the television um, and then there's a couple of other things like advanced display settings here which basically tells you a bit more about the connection etc it's getting quite technical so I won't go into that um, and also graphic settings as well. Again, you can sort of change the graphic settings as well. But again, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to, to go into that. And then we'll finish off the video. So bear with me. So we just have it on display one. Okay. And we'll keep the settings. One other thing actually to mention, sorry whilst I remember, is you can actually um, extend the displays as well. Okay. So this is an extension of the, um, the actual display itself. Um, and what this is good for, sorry, what I meant to mention is um, you can have two things open at once. So for example, if you had the BBC website, you could be... Um, having that on the other screen as well or if you wanted to um, do Excel for example on one and the other I mean obviously you can use this like a a, um, a computer monitor as well if you wish to but I mainly use it sort of for showing things like videos etc and TV so that is the option to extend the display there where you can actually have two separate windows open so I just thought I'd demonstrate that to you that's really useful actually if particularly if you're working like on the uh, spreadsheets etc or wanting to cross reference information so that's about it for today thanks for watching how to connect your laptop to your tv using an hdmi cable as i said earlier if you like what you're seeing please give us a like and if you want to see further videos in future which are tech related please don't forget to smash that subscribe button now hope you've enjoyed the video today and that you found it useful and we'll see you next time thanks for watching bye for now